decorative, illuminated trims, picture trims, for any type of room in the house. The idea of using an LED light strip to illuminate decorative trims, picture trims, between the ceiling and the wall around the room. The beauty of decorative strip lighting for any type of room is shown as an example in this video. Using these step-by-step -step tips, you can follow this idea or create your own design. Material needed to complete this installation. 18. 4-in wall rated LED cable. Flexible RGB, multicolor, LED strip light 12 volts. Super night LED strip lights, 16.4 feet 5 MSMD 300 LEDs. Any device to control the LED light strip, LED controller. LED driver. Any device to control the LED driver, switch, timer, etc. The installed trim shown in the video consists of four wooden elements and LED lighting. Primed MDF board 3 quarters by 3 and 1 half inch. Primed MDF board 3 quarters by 1 and 1 half inch with a routed niche for LED lighting matched to the LED strip. 3 and 5 8 inch crown molding. 2 inch gaffers tape, black. Routed niche for LED lighting strip in a 3 quarters by 1 and 1 half inch board. Router bit to make this niche for the LED strip. Dimensions of the routed niche for mounting LED strips. Slightly wider than the width of the LED strip, more than 1 half inch. Cutting depth 1 half inch. Slightly less than the width of the LED strip, less than 1 half inch. To get a nice look, paint the niche in the top and bottom of the board before installation. The LED cable is already installed during rough-in wiring. In an existing room, the cable can be routed on the top of the board behind the crown molding. An example room explaining the LED cable route. LED light strip that will be installed. 18. 4 LED cables for powering LED strips on both adjacent walls. LED extension, added to a maximum of 3 feet with no signs of LED dimming at the end. Made from the original 16.4 feet feet long light strip. You can also add a short extension element to the LED strip on a 12 feet wall for the adjacent wall. When the LED strip needs to be extended more than 3 feet, it can be powered from the other side with the same cable or another LED cable. Calculate the number of cables, which depends on the current consumption of the LED strip, on average, 118. 4 cable can power 2 LED strips with a length of 16.4 feet at 12 volts, and plan the places where these cables should be routed to power the LED strips. The procedure for installing a decorative trim by one person for the above-mentioned material. Measure 5 and 7 eighths inches from the ceiling on both sides of the wall near the corner. Drive in the drywall screws, attach the string to the screws, and make a line. Make sure that the distance from the window and door trim is the same so that the installed trim looks level.
Add more drywall screws to support the temporary board, same size as the bottom light trim board 1 and a half inch, that will support the upper trim board during installation. Stick the black tape to the wall 1 8 inch higher than the marked line. Install the temporary board, supporting it on the drywall screws. If necessary, screw the temporary board to the wall. Measure and cut the upper trim board at a 90 degree angle, or corner angle on both ends, if the trim will continue on adjacent walls. Upper board cut at an angle to the wall. Place the upper trim board on the temporary board and use 2 inches 16 gauge finishing nails to attach the upper trim board to the wall. Remove the temporary board and the screws holding it in place. A spacer made of two pieces of one and one half by three quarters inch wooden boards to maintain the distance between the bottom of the crown molding and the bottom of the upper trim board.
The top of the spacer may be longer or shorter for other applications. Using a spacer or tape measure, mark the bottom of the crown molding. Measure and cut the crown molding, subtracting the thickness of the boards on adjacent walls if trim is continued. Make sure you cut the crown molding at the right angle. Using 1 and 1 half inch 18 gauge staples, attach the crown molding, in this example, 1 and 1 half inch from the bottom edge of the upper trim board. Using 2 inches 16 gauge staples. Also attach the crown molding to the ceiling joists. If there is no wood behind the ceiling drywall, you can staple the crown molding to the upper trim board using 2 inches 16 gauge staples using the flat surface of the crown molding. In places where the cable or cables for the LED light strip come out of the wall or ceiling, the cables should be routed inside the wall under the upper trim board and crown molding. To prepare the LED cable to connect to the LED strip, Measure the distance from the ceiling to the bottom of the decorative trim, in this case 5 and 7 8 inches, and mark it on the wall. Make notches in the drywall for the cable and connection point. The cutout for the connection point cannot be lower than the bottom of the LED lighting strip board. Insert the cable into the notch and leave it in the place where the connection to the LED light strip will be made. Attach the cable or cables to the wall and patch the wall if necessary. Install the black tape, upper trim board and crown molding. 
The best place to connect the cable to the LED strip is the free space behind the drywall where the connected cables can be inserted. Repeat these steps to install the upper trim board and crown molding in the same way on adjacent walls. Clean the black tape from dust. Measure and cut the lighting trim board at a 90 degree angle or angle to the wall. Spacers made to set the thickness of the illuminated slit. The thickness of the spacers is 1 quarter inch, so it is the same as the thickness of the gap, illuminated slit. Using spacers and 2 inches 16 gauge staples, install the lighting trim.
Continue installing the light trims in the same way, except where the light strip power cable is installed. In places where the cable will be connected to the LED light strip, leave a large enough opening in the light trim to connect the cable to the LED light strip. To cover the opening in the light strip, make a cap from the same light trim, which will allow access to the connection after unscrewing this part of the trim if it is necessary to replace the LED light strip. Cap for the lighting connection opening. Lighting trim cap installation screws. LED light strip for installation and connection. The LED light strip power cable can be replaced with a longer one or, if necessary, extended to facilitate work when connecting. Install the LED light strip in the lighting trim.
If the LED light strip is too long, it should be cut at the cutting locations marked on the strip. Insert the spare cable into the wall and trim the excess LED cable. Low voltage crimp connectors. Double sided tape or any other. LED strip wire. Common, plus, black. Blue LEDs, minus blue. Red LEDs, minus red. Green LEDs, minus green. LED cable wires. Common, plus white. Blue LEDs, minus blue. Red LEDs, minus red. Green LEDs, minus green. Use tape to attach the LED wires to the bottom, flat part of the LED strip. LED wires attached to the bottom of the LED strip.
Strip the LED cable sheath for about 5 inches and strip the ends of the wires for about 1 half inch. Using crimp connectors or small wire nuts, connect the wires as follows. Blue wire, for blue LEDs, from the strip to blue wire from the cable. Red wire, for red LEDs, from the strip to red wire from the cable. Green wire, for green LEDs, from the strip to green wire from the cable. Common wire, black, from the strip to common wire, white, from the cable. Connected wires Insert connected wires into the wall or niche Use small wood screws to cover the light trim opening with a cap.
RGB LED strip lighting controller with RF, radio frequency, remote control, LED driver. Install the LED strip light controller. Secure the LED cable to the surface near the controller connection terminals. Strip the cable sheath about 3 inches. Strip the ends of the wires about 1 quarter inch. Connect the wires to the LED controller connection terminals as follows. Blue wire from the LED cable to the controller output terminal, B. Green wire from the LED cable to the controller output terminal, G. Red wire from the LED cable to the controller output terminal, R.
White wire from the LED cable to the controller output terminal, V+. Install the LED driver. Connect the red, positive, plus, or wire of other color from the extended cable from the LED driver to the V plus input terminal of the controller. Connect the black, negative, minus, or wire of other color from the extended cable from the LED driver to the V minus input terminal of the controller. Connection diagram for the RGB strip. Controller and LED driver. Connection sketch for the RGB strip, controller and LED driver. Connection between the LED light strip and the LED cable from the wall. LED controller connection. Cable from the LED driver. Red wire, positive, plus, from the LED driver connected to the, V plus, input LED controller connection terminal. Black wire, negative, minus, from the LED driver connected to the, V minus, input LED controller connection terminal. For a larger power LED driver, the cable can be paralleled and connected to the LED controller, maintaining the correct polarity of the connection. Appropriately sized LED driver installed. The connection of the low-voltage LED driver can be extended with a cable of appropriate diameter, cable wires can be connected in parallel. Use any control device to control the lighting manually or via an app on your phone. Test installed LED light strips. Using the LED controller with an RF remote control, you can set many scene modes, multiple colors, dimming, fading, jumping, etc. Illuminated bathroom trim can be used as a night light to avoid turning on the light when using the bathroom at night. Examples of basic colors. After installation, fill all nail holes and other spaces requiring filling, sand and paint the trim to obtain the desired appearance. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.